Hello, cheapskaters. I'm Kath Armstrong, creator of the Cheapskates Club, where our goal is to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing. If this is your first time visiting our channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. I hope you enjoy it. Are you making this mistake? Are you following a budget you created last year without making any changes or adjustments for this year? So many people approach a budget like they do a diet. They view it as a restriction of their money. Like counting calories, they count cents and then they feel deprived, they feel stressed, and they feel like it's just too hard to be bothered with. A budget isn't a diet. It's a spending plan. It's a means to track what you spend your money on so that you can make better financial decisions. For example, you may find that you spend $100 a month on coffee. Whoa! When you realise this, you may decide that you'd much rather spend that $100 on a nice evening out with a loved one or you'd much rather save that $100 each month and take a nice holiday at the end of the year or you may choose to forgo those and use the $100 a month to pay off the mortgage or save for a home deposit. Now, just as a little side note, an extra $100 a month on a 25-year $350,000 mortgage with an interest rate of 3.99%, and I know that's up there a little bit, but interest rates are going up. Well, that extra $100 a month is going to save you two years of repayments and around $17,500 in interest. So it's not a hard decision to make, is it? Armed with the information, you can control how you spend your money. And as your money, as your needs and your goals change, so too should your budget or spending plan. It's not set in cement. It is and is meant to be a fluid, ever-changing plan for your money. Here's another example. Let's say you're perfectly happy spending $100 a month on coffee. That would be really easy to do. However, six months into the year, you decide that you want to buy a new computer. So now your budget needs to change. So you don't want to go into debt. But you've got to find the money for the new computer somewhere. A quick look at where you spend your money will tell you that if you cut back on your coffee spending, you can afford that new computer in a few months. You'll pay cash. You'll be able to haggle a better deal you'll own it outright. That's the power of a budget. You have all the information you need to make the right financial decisions for you at your fingertips when you need it. Before I go, thank you so much for watching. If you're not already a subscriber to our channel, click that subscribe button below me and then click the bell and choose how often you want to be notified when we go live or when I upload a new video. It helps you, it helps me, but more importantly, it helps YouTube keep our channel up there so it's recognised more easily. And the more easy it is to find us, the easier it is to spread the message that it is not only okay to live life debt-free, cashed up and laughing, but it can still be done even in today's crazy world. Happy cheapskating, everyone.